My name is Matthew Macoro, and I'm excited to be here with each and every one of you. If I haven't had a chance to see you or work with you before today, Happy New Year's. Excited for the 2023 opportunities that are presenting themselves each and every day. Excited to be here with you in this special event. We're going to talk about different ways to leverage order types, different methods to identify breakout patterns from traditional trend line breakouts to also trading the extremes, overbought, oversold, coming off bottoms and trying to take advantage of the fast whiplash to the upside. So definitely have a full plate ahead of us today. So let's just make sure everything is working properly first before we get too far down the line. At this point, you should see the introduction slide, I just turned the webcam on. I'll have this on for a few minutes here just so you could put a face to the name and the voice. But let's make sure everything's working properly. So at this point, you should see a sound check slide with a sample of what the control panel looks like on your end. We're going to use the question section to manage today's event. So the question section is live as soon as you type in a response. I see it instantaneously on my end. So if you can hear me, if you can see everything properly, let me know in the question section, just say hello, and I'll see your response, and I'll be able to call your name so you know you're all connected. Ralph, good to see you, appreciate it. I've got a thanks coming in. Thank you, John. Chris, appreciate it. Thanks for the feedback. Darren's with us. All right, perfect. So based on this, I'm not gonna go through everyone else's name, but just know if I see a handful of you, then everything is coming across perfectly well. I like to consider these events more of a workshop than anything else. I've been in the industry for a long time. I mean, we're talking since 2007, not just in the markets, but teaching, training, coaching. And so ultimately I'll give you a little bit more of my background in a few minutes, but I want you to just have the right expectation. I like to go on the charts. We'll spend 90% of today's presentation on charts themselves, walking through uh, the profit squeeze strategy as a whole. So. I encourage you to ask questions. This is private. It's a private question section. Uh, this is not open to the public where everyone can see your first name, your last name, your email addresses, any of, any of your personal comments that come in. We do that intentionally. So rest at ease. Don't worry if you think it's a basic question or not, or maybe it's advanced, just fire away and I'll make sure I do my best to answer it. So I like to, once again, make this as interactive as you like. So feel free to fire away. You will not interrupt or mess up the pace of today's event, I can promise you that. So we're gonna be talking about momentum trend patterns, but in combination with money management, how to leverage different types of order types in your broker accounts to execute trades automatically, to manage stop losses, profit targets, be it trading stocks. If you trade options, you can do the same approach um, in what I'll share with you today. But we're gonna really start by first breaking down some of the simple ways to look at a chart to anticipate where it's going, up or down, is it sideways, is it in a transition, and then how momentum comes into play. So I'm gonna give you some very simple yet straightforward indicators to use to help really streamline your trading. I'll be sharing some of my favorite checklists with you today so you can take screenshots if you like and use them as your own. Everything will be fully uh, shown to you, nothing will be hidden, full transparency, is how I like to run these type of, types of events. Now, we're gonna talk about trading. We're gonna talk about opportunities to profit in the market, being be it red days, be it green days. You know, On the screen are just some examples of trade signals and trading opportunities that me and the team of clients that I have have identified and, and, and taken in the marketplace. These are some long calls where we traded options. Some of these are long puts, depending upon which way the market's heading. But this type of trading is gonna be what we focus on today. Not, not the type of trading that requires you to be in front of your computer screens all day long. In fact, the large majority of my traders that follow my strategy is done after the markets close. In fact, right now at 4.05, the markets have closed, the bell has rung. And at this point, the market's done for the day. And this is when we go in and look for trades for tomorrow. So the flexibility is there. So if you're really looking for something to add to your trading 
tools where you can set trades up in advance of the market, 15 minutes or less, and be fully protected. You'll have entries, you'll have your stop loss, you'll have profit targets, all set up in advance of the market being there. And at that point, everything's protected. And all that has to happen is the market has to do what we expect it to do, which is to break out. Now, because we're talking about results, I need to be clear that trading carries risk. It's my obligation to let you know that there's risk involved in trading. This is a very standard uh, risk disclaimer that you probably have seen in any online event you've been in. To me, I like to make it simple. Only use risk capital. I think we're all adults, but still it must be said. Risk capital is money that if you do lose, you can still keep food on the table and keep the roof over your head. That to me is a easy definition of what risk capital is. So as long as we have good risk management, then we can weather any storms, any drawdown. Uh, but it starts first with identifying what is your risk capital and everyone's going to be different. So I'm not going to customize any of this to any one person in the room. I'm not going to customize this to your trading account size, anything like that. These are strategies and tactics that can be used no matter how big or how small your trading account is you're going to be able to see exactly how that rolls out today now what we're going to be focusing on is drilling down to simple and repeatable steps now you can make this as complex or as simple as you like in my experience the more simple the easier it is to maintain many people that i work with don't trade full-time in fact i would say i don't trade full-time when I define full time, that's someone that spends hours and hours and hours in front of their charts. And even as a coach and a mentor in this industry, I don't do that. I spend anywhere on a given day, no more than an hour or so. And that includes all the time that I spend teaching and in live trading sessions. So I really enjoy the arm's length approach. A lot of that you're gonna see today is due to my personality type. I'm highly optimistic, which means if I stare at something long enough in the market, I'll come up with various reasons on why I should buy it. So for me, less is more. And so that's the strategy that you're gonna see today. Really focusing on some simple, objective, repeatable steps to trading really helps me and my personality stay grounded in objectiveness, right? I wanna steer away from subjectivity. Now, my goal here today, even in the short time that we have today, is to empower you with various skills and techniques. For some of you that have been in the market for years i can assure you i'll still be able to provide you value today many of the people that i work with that have years of experience under their belt are looking for a new way to manage and identify opportunities to trade now some would say that's what everybody's looking for if you're in an event like this but the large majority of retail traders don't make money at the end of the day and i think a lot of that is due less on skill and more on the mental psychology of trading the mental side of it so i'm going to be talking a lot about that today throughout the workshop so i can try to help provide some other ways to think through how you manage your mental state when trading as well now ultimately we're talking about making money right so dollar in what kind of income can we make on that it's a return return on investment conversation that's what every investor has and should have at the forefront of their minds so nothing's different today with the simple exception that the goal is simple and repeatable so i'm going to be sharing everything with you if there's any questions on how i have my chart set up any tools anything like that please let me know that's what i'm here for today is to give full transparency on this process now if you haven't met me before i've spoken with this group many times i've got a long-standing relationship with this group here but if you haven't met me before i've been in this industry since 2007 I learned my chops and earned my chops trading in the last great recession. I actually learned trading currencies. So my charting skills come from trading currencies and that for those that have traded it, you know that that is a highly technical based marketplace. And so that's where I learned all of the analysis that I provide today. The backbone of it is in currencies, but really about four to five years ago, I transitioned away from currencies into more of an equity focus and not only just stocks themselves but also trading options but what i found is that your charting skills are wildly important and i've really put together simplistic approaches to identify trend how to leverage different entry strategies exit strategies be it as stop losses and profit targets 
and taken a lot of the heavy lifting away from manual analysis. And I'm going to share that with you in a moment. In that background of the last 15 plus years now, to give you my executive background, I got hired to, to learn how to trade the market. So I was hired by a company at the time, it was the largest financial education and technology company in the industry. And so I was paid to do what I'm doing now, which is to teach people how to trade the market. So to do that, they had to then teach me. So I actually got paid to learn how to, mar how to trade the market. And most people actually do the opposite. You pay someone or a company, you follow maybe their trading signals, maybe you bought a indicator, you you invested to learn. Well, once again, I had the opposite approach. But in my time with that company, through my experience that I've gained, through the successes that I had, I actually moved up to become the chief revenue officer. In my career, I sold over $150 million worth of products and services. In 2018, I stepped away from that organization, took about six months off from the market, but I had a yearning desire to come back. I, I just have a passion for trading, I have a passion for teaching and coaching. But I decided at that point to do it a different way. Rather, rather than be beholden to revenue as the number one focus, I decided to take what I've learned and adapt and change and provide a different type of teaching model. And so today, you're gonna see the output of that decision I made about five years ago. So I surrounded myself with some fantastic individuals to help create a new way of teaching, of coaching, of being a, a mentor in this industry. And you're going to see the results once again of that today. But that's my experience. So the benefit to you is that I worked behind the scenes. I created so many products working with my product team. I had, I had direct access to all of the customer service tickets, all of the issues that traders faced. And I was able to see firsthand at, a, at, a, at thousands and thousands of different traders, all of the different issues that they ran into. And so the strategy today is an adaptation of all that information. And so you're going to see a lot of the output of that shown on how I teach the market, how I show trend, how I leverage momentum. It's all based on understanding some of the pitfalls and obstacles that traders face. So at this point, if you have questions about my background, let me know. But at this point, I want to go to the charts. And to me, that's where the rubber meets the road is being in the market on the charts where it's most important. So at this point, I'm gonna actually turn off my camera. I'm still gonna be with you, but I wanna provide the most real estate on your viewing window as possible so we can talk about the strategy today. So it's been a pleasure seeing you firsthand, seeing me, I'm sure, right? But let's get the camera out of the way and I'm gonna now pull up our software so we can jump in and start talking through the strategy of the day. Now, what I want you to do while I, while I pull this up, is I want you to start thinking of stock symbols that you've been thinking about, that you've been looking at, maybe that you're, you want some extra insight on. At this point, I wanna make a custom watch list built upon what you're interested in. So give me one, give me two, give me this stock symbol. It makes it faster for us to build this watch list. So go ahead now, everyone take a second, go to the question section, and type in your your request. Think of this as back in the day, you'd call the radio and you'd tell them what song you wanna hear, right? This is our, our custom watch list for the day. So as you're typing in, I see them coming in, let me get everything ready for us and I'm gonna build this. And we'll use this to walk through the strategy today. So it's not some custom list that I built, it is personable to you and what you are most interested in. I got a question on futures. The strategy I show you is usable across any market, any type of investment type that you can chart. So let's build this list. PZZA, what is that? Oh, Papa John's, that's right. We got Papa John's, I haven't seen that symbol in a while. We have BlackRock, Tesla, IBM. We got Mo, which is Altria, ABBV. Oh, we got a lot of symbols today. We got Dollar General, Visa, Delta, Royal Caribbean, Goldman Sachs. Yeah, that was they hit the newswire today, didn't they? 
We've got Southwest. We have Team. Let's see, did I miss one? We have Quant. I'm assuming you mean QuantumScape. And what else do we have? Okay, so it looks like we have. Hey, Jim, good to see you. Logging in from Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, I'm actually based in Orlando, Florida, just north of it. It is 73 degrees and beautiful out here. Last several nights we've been in the 30s, which is unusual. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to first break down what we have on the screen. Okay, so I'm using TradingView. This is a personal preference of mine. By no means do you have to use new software. In fact, I'm anti-large high price software. I think I think there's some great software out there, you know, the ones that you see for $100, $200, $300 a month. I, I think there's some phenomenal software out in the market. The account that I have, or the account type I, I have here is the pro version, so it's only $15, $15 a month. But I've used it for so many years now, it's become second nature to me. But the strategy I'm gonna give you is not proprietary to TradingView. The, the indicator setup that I use are using some of the most commonly found commonly used indicators so if you're if you have a charting software that you like that you've been using and you're comfortable with then there's no reason to change if you don't have a software that you like or you don't like using the software that comes with your broker account then by all means try out trading it's up to you you don't have you can use that in, a, in actuality you can actually use the uh free version the I think they call it a registered account, which is the lowest version, it's free. You can actually use the strategy I'm sharing with you even there. The only reason I have a pro version of this software is so I can have unlimited watch lists. It's the only reason. For many years, I just used the free version and taught on it, coached on it, didn't have to pay any software costs because to me, any costs that are involved in trading is overhead. I treat trading as a business, I think, that helps a lot of the traders I work with look at their activity in a different way. And so if I can lower overhead costs in the form of software, then that means there's more available to us on the profit side, right? There's less overhead. The business can be more profitable that way. But once again, you can use the, this setup on any software of your choice. Now, what we have here is a combination. What we're, what we're doing is we're leveraging trend direction combined with momentum. The momentum, we're gonna use volume as our metric and our data point around finding where the money is, right? Where the big momentum is. So I'm just gonna go through, and I'm just gonna start on the very first symbol that came in, and that was Papa John's. This was the first symbol that was typed in. And we'll go through all of them, but I'm gonna start here first and just break down what I have on the charts. So the first thing is I want you to think about the chart broken up into two, two sections. Everything around the candlesticks, that's our pattern, okay? That's what we're gonna identify pattern. The bottom side here, the, the bottom section is where we're gonna measure momentum, okay? so. The goal here is to combine pattern. Pattern is direction. Pattern is where we uncover support resistance. We uncover profit targets, stop losses, right? We're gonna leverage price action, which is displayed using candlesticks. And then we're gonna add the momentum. Think of momentum as fuel, okay? Octane, right? Do we have high octane, low octane? Do we have high volume, low volume? The combination is identified vertically so we're going to be looking up and down more so than left or right okay so we're looking at a combination of how this works now on the top half here as i zoom in we have three different trend lines okay that's what these lines are here they're moving averages they're simple moving averages 
You can use exponential if you like, you can use weighted if you like. These are simple moving averages. Now there's three because I'm get I want to have as many confirmations that I'm on the right side of the direction. If the market is bullish, I want to be a buyer. If the market is bearish, I want to be a seller, right? Or I want to be exiting. I want to be getting out, right? So we need to identify where is the direction? Is it up or down? Where are we at in a particular trend? Are we just getting started? Are we in the middle of it or are we at the end of the trend? Okay, so I'm gonna show you how these trend lines interact together, but there's three and there are three distinctly different time frames that we're evaluating. So we're gonna start with the top one first. So the first one I have is a 10 day. Okay, so if you have learned how to technically trade on your own, okay, so you've maybe you've taken a course on how to technically trade the market, right? How to draw trend lines. Think of the 10 day as your inner trend line, okay? It's the shortest amount of data points used to generate the average. So when you see a 10 here, for those that are unfamiliar with moving averages, it's a simple average. So a 10 means that they're gonna go back 10 bars, okay? So we're, we're talking bars, but on, on this chart, we're on a daily chart, okay? So every candlestick you see represents one day. So this is gonna go back 10 days. And each day, it's going to add up the closed prices. It's going to take all of the closed prices in the last 10 days. It's going to divide it by 10, and it's going to give you an average price. And it's a rolling average. So I can go back at any point in time historically and see what was the 10-day price at any given time. So we'll come to the most current data, which is today. Okay, So the market just closed. We're on today. So there's, the relationship here is, is what I want to walk you through so we ended ended the day by closing papa john's at 83 dollars and 72 cents okay that's the final price of the day well the 10-day price if you look to where the trend line is is below today's final price right so we are trading above the 10-day average price that is interpreted that we are in an uptrend, right? So the, in the last 10 days, our price is moving up. We are now above it. You see that this 10 day moves up and down more frequently than a larger time frame. okay? So if I put on the 50 day now, the 50 is taking in more data, right? So because there's more data, it's a smoother line. It's less up and down erratic because there's a lot more data involved. Now, the reason I have a 50 day as the largest at this point on the chart, the largest time frame, is because that becomes our outer trend line. This specific sequence of moving averages, the 10, the 20, which I'm going to show you in a moment, and the 50, that combination is designed to find trades that last days and weeks. Okay, so this is designed for what I describe as a swing trader. There's lots of definitions of what a scalper is, what a swing trader is, what a position trader is. For me, swing trading, the way I like to distinguish amongst the three categories, the main categories of time in trade, scalping is you're in positions for minutes and hours in a trade. That's scalping. You're out same day, sometimes next day. Okay, So you're in and out of the market, market frequently. The second category is swing trading. So for me, I, I classify that as being in a trade for days and weeks. And then a position trader or more investor, long-term trader is gonna be thinking in terms of weeks and months. Okay, so I have a different setup for each one of those different time frames. Okay, so this once again is a specific type of pattern tool that gives us swings or trades that last days and weeks okay so that does not inhibit you to use this across other types of investments i just want to set the tone for why this specific sequence because i get the question a lot now as i scroll out and put more data on okay you can see the 50 day the red is the 50 day the blue is the 10 okay you get a lot less up and down movement right you see the market move away from the 50 and then you see it come back to the 50 okay versus the 10 day sticks really close to 
the candles, okay? You see that spread is a lot tighter, okay? So we have an inner trend line. I already showed you the 50, which becomes our longer term outer trend line. Now, the missing final moving average here is the 20 day, okay? So the 20 day is, ju is just like the 10 and 50, but instead of a 10 and 50 time frame, it's only 20 days, okay? So it's in the middle. The 20 day acts and works just like the other ones. It just gives us another data point. So when I pull up all three together, the relationship is important to where on the charts is the price versus each and every one of those different averages, those trend lines. So if we look at where we ended the day today, today's price closed above all three of those averages, right? So today's final price is above the 10, it's above the 20, it's above the 50. So currently we're trending above all of those trend lines, right? That's a point of reference. Each one of those trend lines is either support or resistance. Uh, Rocky, we're talking about the rapid profit method. Yep, so I know you have both. <laughs> yep, I know you have both for this. Yeah, we're talking about that. Yes, Don says, can you scan on the free software? 100%, I'm gonna be giving you my favorite scans that you can take as your own. Yep, you can use you can use this screener and, the, and scan on the free version, 100%. Uh, let's see, Linda, sounds like your webinar is for beginners. It's for beginners as well, yeah. You could take away anything you'd like. I know this may seem basic going through this, but I wanna make sure everyone's on the same page and I can assure you it's gonna ramp up. Okay, so the trend is what we're identifying, right? Now, what's more powerful than just the immediate relationship. So if I go back in time and I'll use the back in time machine and let's just come to this random spot. What I want you to, to start to look at is a, a vertical up and down approach, okay? Up and down versus left to right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna incorporate volume, okay? So this indicator on the bottom is volume. It's not dollars and cents. Volume represents the number of shares traded. So volume represents. This, is, this becomes our fuel for identifying momentum. Now, I, I took away an indicator inside of the volume. I wanna show, I wanna walk you through this piece first, okay? Now, the columns here, and I've customized this. Out of the box, this will be a line chart, but the line chart doesn't give justice to, to what we're trying to recognize here. These columns are simply counting the number of shares traded in a given time frame, right? Once again, we're on a daily chart, so this is an entire day. So if we look here, this is Friday, November 11th, and I'm on the column here, and you also see the data in the top left, okay? So in the top left corner next to volume 20, next to the VOL, you'll see 1.138 million, okay? So that's the number of shares traded on that day. The day before that, there was 726,000. The day before that, there was 649,000. There's some very low days where you're talking 330,000, right? It's hard to really walk away understanding if there was momentum in a day, if we don't have something to measure that activity against. So very similar to how we look to the price above for price action using trend lines, I'm gonna establish a trend line here to look for high volume as well as low volume areas. Now, the basis of how the market works, right? If you think to the basic essence of why does price go up, why does price go down? Well, price goes up, right? Because there's more buyers than sellers, right? So price is gonna go up. Well, the opposite's true. When there's more selling, price goes down. But what I'm out after is to find where the flood of money is coming in. Right. So when there's a higher volume, when there's more volume than normal, that's a surge. OK, that is where you see higher and faster price action. I've pulled thousands and thousands of symbols. I have pulled all of the data around their activity levels, run averages, run formulas. And I've yet to find any stock chart that 
shows when there's trading activity above the average for that symbol, that there is not at least a double the number of percentage moves, right? Meaning the percentage move is double 90% of the time than low volume days, okay? That's where big movements happen. That's what pushes price to move fast. That's momentum. So being able to understand and identify a vertical understanding of the relationship between where the pattern is and then seeing is it a committed move, right? Is there activity greater than normal? That sets up a recipe for a breakout, okay? So that is the essence of where you see price move fast, okay? It's, I mean, just on this chart here, many of you can see this move here that I'm discussing. Now, understanding how price and how activity reacts around trend reversals or trend breaks is very important, okay? So if I come back in time, I'm gonna go back to where this breakout happened, okay? And I'm gonna start walking you through the vertical look of when the stars align for a breakout. So to understand the simple nuance of a trend line break, let's look to this big red trend line. That's the 50-day, okay? Many of you have heard of the 50-day moving average. Many of you have heard of the 100-day moving average. Many of you have heard of the 200-day moving average. And the reason why is because they're some of the most commonly used from a retail trading perspective all the way up to institutional money. Many people think that, you know, these hedge funds and institutions use these magic, you know, indicators and, and tool sets. Well, well, that may be the case for some, right? But it's hard to it's hard to walk away from all of the analysts that we see on every talking head show, right? It could be Bloomberg, CNBC, you know, it could be Fox Business, you know, where, wherever you consume financial news, you'll hear every other segment Anytime they bring on a chartist, a charting analyst, they'll talk about these key moving averages. Well, over time, you're gonna see that the market reacts in big ways at and around these large moving averages because people around the industry use them to make their buying and selling decisions, right? So there's a lot of continuity around these key trends. So for us, the 50-day, once again, is our long-term trend line because we're looking to be in trades for days and weeks. Now, if you want to go longer, once again, I'll show you a different setup for long-term trading, but it's all the similar type of identification here. The key here to understand when we get a reversal, that means when we're trending in a certain direction, we, we go the other way, right? We reverse. So here, in this example, you can see us go bearish right so whenever we start to see candles go below the 50 day that is a reversal point anytime we flip directions right so we're coming down here we get above it we rally up we get below it and then we see the trend go down now what makes this reversal this point in time okay we're talking about a specific moment of time where we want to find ourselves either in a short scenario where instead of shorting a stock maybe you're buying puts right you're trading options but you're buying a put taking advantage of a bearish move or more traditionally you're buying a stock or if you want to trade options you're buying a call right we want to take advantage of the bullish move well we want to be able to identify when that reversal point happens and from a pure statistics approach you will see a high percentage of the time the large majority of the time the first move at the point of reversal, right? The, the initial move of the reversal point is going to be greater than the second, third, or fourth move. Okay, I'll explain in more detail in a second. So for me, what I want to do is I want to be able to find the moments of reversals, not just pattern-wise. Remember, there's two segments, the pattern on top, and I also want to have the momentum below it. Okay, the combination of having them both aligned is where you get momentum to a break. So the first thing is understanding the most important price. You have four prices, each one of these candlesticks. You have an open, a high, a low, and a close. Of those four, the most important is the close price. What was the final price? If I'm on a one-hour chart, 
and I'm looking at a one hour segment, okay, what was the closed price in that last hour? That's where the last settled price was, right? At the end of the day, same concept, but the close price and where we close in relationship on the pattern, right? So the few days before here, really starting on the 2nd of November, you see how we had a high and then we came back below the 50. We closed below the 50, okay? That's not a reversal. We want to have a close price, right? Even the next day, we had a high, but then we ended up closing back down below it. Same thing the next day, we basically closed it right on top of it, right? We, we, we did not have a big move above that bar. It wasn't until the 7th that we actually closed above the 50 day. Now, if I look down below, I'm gonna see that we were above the moving average, right? Because here, now I've got two data points. On the top left, next to the volume, you'll see two numbers. You see 715,000, that's what happened on that day. To the right of that is the average, which was 624,000. So we had almost 100,000 shares more traded. That becomes a momentum breakout pattern. That combination, we have a trend break. We're trending down, we then reverse it and closed above it for the first time. So this whole downtrend started on the 22nd of August, ended on the 7th of November. You can see how long some of these trends can last. There was a reversal point with momentum. From that point, you see the market and the price surge. So the surge didn't start here with this big day, right? The surge actually started a few days before that. The moment in time is what we're most concerned with. So if you had a way, I already had somebody ask the question, Don already asked it. If you can search the market every day and find patterns that looked just like this on this day, would that be beneficial to you? This is getting into a mindset of catching breakouts catch versus chase you see mind mind you we didn't have the future at this point okay and well i'll go i'll go through every single one of these and show you all of the latest breakouts and the recipe you're going to see is consistent i'm showing it to you right now we have a reversal point where we close above the trend we look down below were we above the average yes we were what we do at this point and i'm going to get into more detail but we set up an entry order in advance this is a combination now of how do we catch breakouts. So what I did on this chart is I simply added a horizontal ray. Okay, that's what the indicate. That's what the drawing tool was. But what you'll see is that at the end of the day on Monday the seventh, the highest price was seventy six dollars and fifty three cents. That's where the day ended. Okay, so this would have showed up in our our aggressive bullish checklist okay which is a screener down below okay so i'll show it to you in a second but i'll give you all of the settings so you can search every single day for this specific pattern you'll have a trend reversal and you'll have volume okay so every day is going to be different if it's a low volume day in the market you'll get less results if it's a high volume day you'll get a lot of results okay the mechanics though is consistent Okay, it's gonna only look for patterns just like this. Once you can understand and find what to trade, right? Because that's the that's the first question that must be asked. So when it's time to trade, you've got to know what am I gonna trade? When do I trade it, right? So when do I buy it, right? You first is what, then is when, then is how. Okay, how do you manage the trade? By setting up a future order, so mindful, this is done at night. Okay, so you would have run your, your filter, you would have run your screener, and you would have found Papa John's. You would have found it just like this. So the strategy to catch is that you set up an advance order before the market's even open. You can do it at 4.05, you can do it at nine o'clock at night, you can do it at eight in the morning, nine in the morning, right? I always recommend you do it before the next day opens. And the reason why is simple. The largest volume period historically of the market is the opening bell. The opening bell for me is classified the first hour at the most hour and a half. In fact, this method of trading, the large majority of your trades will automatically enter within within the first 15 minutes of the day. I mean, it's because we're trying to take advantage of the, the, the highest volume period traditionally, which is the opening, right? It's when that bell first rings. So you set up an advance and being 
precise and objective, we want to catch the breakout. So by setting our entry one tick above, it's a very consistent entry. Every entry you set up in advance on a buy is one tick above. If you're shorting, then you're going one tick below. Because what we want to ensure is that the market, the symbol we're looking at in this example, Papa John's, actually breaks out in our direction. Because it may not. It could retrace and go back down. If that happens, then we don't want to be buying Papa John's yet. We only want to buy it if the price breaks out in our direction. So by simply setting up in advance of the market being there, we're on autopilot. The trade is waiting. It is waiting on the condition. The condition here is Papa John's has to mark greater or equal to 76.54. So what that does is, once again, lets us catch breakouts and then avoid the whiplash. A, an up move and then followed by a down move, which can happen. This is just one piece of the puzzle, okay? This is how you catch entries. Now, this method, you're going to then understand how to set profit targets, okay? Let's go to the next one, BlackRock. We're looking at the moment of reversal, okay? That's what we want to find that gives us the most leg room, okay? The stretch. Even here in looking at this chart, and I'm going to circle these so you can see them more clearly. This is a reversal. It was going down. We we're below. And then we come up. Look at the move that follows. Down move, same thing happens. Here's the reversal going down. See how the stretch happens around the initial reversal point. Same thing down here. Here's the upswing. Right? Upswing. Here's the downswing over here. We came up, came back down. Look at that fast move back down again. So rather than try to catch trades mid-trend, meaning in an active trend directional move, that to me is chasing, okay? You're chasing down a move. You're either getting in too early or you're getting in too late, okay? So if we can find this moment of the reversal points, that's gonna put us in the biggest position to catch the largest percentage move, which is usually at the beginning of it, right? That initial place of reversal. So if you come down here and look, this is BlackRock. They're they're also in the news quite frequently. They're the they should be still the largest, but they've gotten a lot of uh, assets pulled out of BlackRock. But at at one time last quarter, they had almost a trillion dollars under management. A trillion. That's a T. Okay. So they're massive. They, almost every stock it feels like on the planet, BlackRock has a share of ownership in it. That's how big they are. But if you look down here on the 25th, look vertically. You see how we're just above that average, right? So we're trending above the volume below at that point of reversal. Look at the breakout. And we're still in it. We have not closed below the 50. So this trend, this uptrend started back in October and we're still at to be running. Look at the vertical up and down look and then look what happens following that. Now, once again, you've got to exit, okay? It's not just getting in, you got to get out, right? So we'll talk about how to do that in a simple way. So you sit one tick above, next day you're entering the trade automatically. You had a, a rally, you had a pullback, stayed bullish, and you maintained all the way up to the $790 mark. Okay, So obviously big stock price with BlackRock, you had a minimal drawdown of about a point and a half, a high price, you came up about 23%. Okay? But I want you to pay attention to this moment again. Even on the down move, look at that transition to the reversal coming down. I'll go back in time so you can see it more vertical. Close below the 50. Look down at that surge of volume, almost double the volume. If you can find that once again, now the reverse happens on a short. You could buy a put, you can short the symbol outright. You sit one tick below the low. So if it goes the next day, you're in the trade, it, it marked at the number, you're live, look at the surge take place. Let's go to Tesla. Reversal point way up here. As long as we're above that moving average, okay, that means there is an increase of volume. Look vertically. We had another sign here. If you missed the first one, look at the second one that showed up. Look what happened following. So this down move started back here, September, the upswing. Look at the volume spike here on the 21st. 
Now, it doesn't happen immediately on the day. It could take a few days like Tesla did. You'll still have this symbol show up. This is more what we describe as a conservative bullish breakout. And I'll show you what that filter looks like. Same thing. Look at the down move here. Look down below. Big surge of bearish volume, right? Big bear bar. Look down below. Huge surge of volume. That kickstarted this sell-off. Let's go to IBM. You'll see it here as well. Here's the recent upswing started back here, October 20th. Reversal point, one tick plus. Look at that surge. It starts with the reversal point paired with volume. Here's Mo. This is a more sideways. It still works, right? You see that move? It's just not as strong of a move. I'll show you how to pick which ones to take, which ones not to take, right? But it's still rallied at that initial point off of reversal. Let's go to ABBV. We'll go faster now. There's the initial reversal way back here. Uh-oh, we just reversed again. This just happened. Which way do you think AbV is heading? You think it's going to be bearish or bullish? Type it in the question section. Look at what just happened. That's right, bearish, right? Bearish is the weight, okay? So if you're looking for shorts, this would have shown up in our aggressive bearish breakout scanner. That's where it would have showed up, okay? You'll now be able to start to quickly identify where the weight is, right? Dollar General started way back here, okay? Let's go to Visa. Visa's on the up move. Visa, look at this huge volume back here. Dub, over double the volume on this reversal point delta you're going to see the same thing huge volume started back here on the 4th of january starting the year off second trading day of the year huge reversal downtrend flipped it to closing above look at the rally since then you're talking over 10 percent 15 percent from this reversal point the formula is objective it's not subjective i'm not reading analyst reports I'm looking at what is happening, right? That's what volume measures, the transactions. You could talk all you want about an investment, but until you actually invest in it, right? You're just talking. So the objectiveness of actual trades, that's volume, right? Paired with the directional pattern, that's happening. That's all objective. There's nothing opinion-based around where the price closes. Match that with volume, that's where you can catch the moves, right? It's all about catching, not chasing. Goldman Sachs, it started here, okay? Had a small bullish move, and then today. Where is the weight of Goldman Sachs, right? It's to the downside, right? We've got a huge volume bar show up, huge volume, right? That's on the headlines today. Occidental, okay? Reversal started here. Big red bearish volume, kick-started the trend. So, Ultimately, all we have to figure out now, right? All we have to manage through this process is understanding the correlation between finding the moment of time, understanding what a catch trade looks like, how it sets up in an account, right? And then from there, you've got to know when to get out. How do you get out of the trade, right? Where do you exit? Where is the trend going to run out of momentum, right? And that becomes repeatable. That Once again, I'm going to give you the screener here in a moment. Let me just go through all of them because I asked you, right? So here's a good example with Team, okay? Team, this is Atlassian Corporation here, right? This chart itself. So we had a pattern reversal here, right? So we were below the 50. Starting here on the 11th, we started to move above it. What's most important, though, is that we, we don't have the big volume spike. Even this bar was not above volume. So we're coming down to pennies, but it's objective. If I look to the top, We did not hit the volume. This is important because without volume, this is what I describe as a bull trap. And I like to spell it because some may interpret this a different way. It is TR, not CR, okay? a bull trap. Because we have yet to have the buyers come in, right? Big money, big volume activities come up. 
that hasn't showed up yet, this has a higher likelihood to go to the right and down first. It doesn't have the commitment yet, the activity behind it to create a big up move yet. It, it may happen, but it's not ready yet. So more than likely what happens when you have a reversal without momentum, you start to get this type of move. You'll get this move, it'll come down more, and then the momentum should show up. So rather than deal with the drawdown like this, you just be patient, okay? And you wait for this to play out. You wait for the big volume to show up, and then you have a buy setup. But this is, I just wanna highlight this because I don't want you to be just focused on the top. It's a combination of top and bottom together in sequence, not a day later. It's up and down at the moment of time. Once again, vertically, look up and down. I wanna avoid the bull trap. So it may happen, it's just not ready yet. QuantumScape, this happened back here. So going through these random stocks that you all chose, right? You all typed in here. I didn't have a cherry pick list. Okay, some of these I don't see because they're not at certain volume limits that I look for. Okay, but you see the pa it's it, the pattern itself repeats itself, and you can go back on any chart of your choice. You want to go to some maybe the S and P 500, right? Maybe you want to look at uh, the Nasdaq. Okay, it doesn't matter if I'm talking about a stock or an ETF. We're looking for the same approach up and down vertically. Here's the Nasdaq. When that when did that reversal start taking place? Well, on the 11th. Okay. But once again, we didn't have the volume. When did the volume show up? Actually, Thursday last week. So now this is more of a stronger bullish pattern, right? Same thing, upswing here. Look at the volume below. See the volume below? Surge 99 million shares, average was 65 million. Big old green bar closed above the red for the first time. And we saw this bullish bounce, okay? Same thing inverted on the down move. Doesn't matter if it's an index, it's the SPY. Same look and feel, same approach. We're looking for the moment of time when that reversal is all lined up. So because you gave me this list, the list you all provided to me at the start of this event today, as you can tell, they're all in a different stage, right? Some of them have been breaking out for weeks. Some of them are just broke out over the last couple of days. Your transition running this type of strategy changes dramatically, okay? So you're no longer focusing on just a handful of stocks and over trading a dozen stock symbols. Instead, what we look for, we transition to finding stocks that are liquid, that are traded frequently, that have good volume, that are well known, and we look for them to be at a point of a breakout. So that's the transition. So what happens is, is we actually increase our, our bucket of opportunity. We're not just focused on just a handful of symbols. We're looking at across 7,000 stocks. If this makes sense, this relationship so far on the charts, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull up one of the main scanners, AKA checklists that we use. So you can see exactly how we search for these moments of time. Now we're gonna run it live and we're gonna set up a trade. Uh, there should be trade setups that meet our criteria today after today's trading action. So we're gonna go through a live setup. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a stock trade and I'm gonna show you how we use the same strategy to also trade options. All by setting up future orders for tomorrow. So everything we set up today is gonna to be waiting for tomorrow, okay? Once again, catching the breakout. So this is one of the most used strategies that we use in the market. This is the aggressive bullish checklist. Now, if you're unfamiliar, uh, unfamiliar with GoToWebinar, I wanna show you a simple tip. If you're in full screen mode right now, and if you wanna, take a screenshot of this and use it as your own, please do so. This is how you do it. Exit full screen, hit that little small you know, double box if you're on a full screen window of GoToWebinar, hit that and it'll exit full screen. And then you'll see the border, the top border of GoToWebinar's viewing window, you'll see a camera button. If you click that camera button, whatever I have on my screen will be saved on your your computer, okay? 
the default is to your desktop. So if you clip it, it'll save it. So you can take a picture of, of this checklist for you. Now, in total, we run about eight or nine different strategies depending upon the market condition. This is one of our most used and most um, often leveraged in the market, okay? So I'm gonna show you this in trading view so you can see how the filters are. But in here, you're gonna see, we provide the actual scanner settings. This is the filter settings, okay, to search the market for us. Here's the entry strategy. I already showed you the entry, right? So if we're bullish, one tick above the bar high, we have profit targets. You have to set a stop loss. I always have stop losses. And then if you wanna trade the option, this is the criteria we use to pick the option. I'll show you an option trade, but this is soup to nuts, stock trade by itself, or if you wanna trade the option, this is what the criteria is. Now, if you trade options, this is what's different about this approach. But once again, to me, it's it's about being simple. Options are a derivative of an underlying stock, okay? So if a stock price goes up and I'm in a call, right? And I'm buying a long call. As the stock price goes up, the premium goes up, okay? Now, how much that premium goes up is relative to many variables about the cha option chain, right? The, all the Greeks impact that premium price, right? But ultimately, price goes up, premium goes up, price goes down, premium goes down, right? That's the derivative side of it. So as we're searching for breakouts on the stock side, we can trade the stock outright, or if we want, we can take advantage of the margin and leverage found trading options. So we start at the top and work our way down. So if I wanna trade options and I wanna be on the buy side, so if I'm buying calls, then I wanna find a stock that's breaking out and then I'll simply trade the option. Okay, so that's the approach here. We don't start at the option and work our way up. We start at the stock, work our way down. So all of the entries, same process, all the profits, targets, same process, stop loss, same process. Once we have that, we can decide to trade the stock or we leverage that analysis to then trade the option. Okay, it's up to your, your preference. Now I'm gonna set this up and I'm gonna show you the actual settings in trading view so this is the aggressive bullish breakout results so as of today there are 26 matches that have met all of this criteria 26 of them now, mind you, there's 7,000, over 7,000 common stocks, okay? But we have 26 that meet this criteria. So we're using these settings to cut down the list, starting at over 7,000. Today, we have 26. Some days there's 80, some days there's 30, some days there's 10, okay? So it's all dependent upon identifying this breakout pattern, this very specific pattern. So let me explain what each one of these settings are, are used for, right? So number one, I wanna make sure that we have stocks that are commonly traded that are liquid, okay? So I set a market cap minimum. 200 million or more means that we're looking for small caps or higher, okay? So that's liquidity. So I'm only looking at small caps or higher. Volume, this is what happened today. That's also liquidity. I only trade stocks that traded at least 1 million shares. It's another way to ensure that we have liquid stocks to trade. Below that, I've got another liquidity filter. This is average volume, okay? So a stock has to average over 60 days a million shares or more. This removes any of those one day high volume stocks that are unknown, but they just have a rush of buying from insiders, you know, all these peripheral type of stocks that no one's heard of. Okay, this gets rid of those. We're looking for, for well-known household type of stocks to trade, right? That's another form of liquidity. Now, the next filter is focused on momentum. Okay, so this is where we're trying to find what stocks also traded above their relative volume, which is another way to say above their average. So relative volume above or equal to one 
means that the stock must have traded above their average. Today, not yesterday, not the day before, but today. Okay, remember, we're looking for a surge of activity. That's momentum. Now, below here, we have two more in, that are being used. These are based around pattern. So change, change price, we wanna see a positive move, that's pattern. I also wanna see the price crossing above the 50 day, right? I'm looking for the first movement crossing up on that 50, okay? So that's pattern. So just by using these eight settings, the top settings just help to define where the stocks are located, right? What type of stocks and then of course, what exchange, right? They don't really lend a lot of weight, but that's what these other two are. So it, it combines liquidity, right? I want to buy a price. I want to be able to buy at the price I want. Come time to sell it. I want to get out, right? That's liquidity. Momentum in the form of identifying where the surge is. That's relative volume. And then I got two pattern filter sets, okay? So everything is an and statement. You know, if you're familiar with, you know, using different uh, formulas in Excel or Google Sheets, right? You can use or, right? So you can do one or the other, but these are all and. So all eight of these, filter criteria must be checked off. They must be met to show up. So when I pull up the charts, you're gonna see very familiar looking patterns. Here's Chevron. So without having to stare and know every, every day what Chevron's doing, I run the scanner and now I see Chevron. You all remember what we're looking for. See, we had a volume surge today, okay? Look at the pattern. We also have NTR closing above the 50-day. CarMax, everything we see here is gonna be very similar to each other because we're looking for the same type of criteria. So now I've got a specific list, there's 26 in total, around a specific pattern. From here, I then select stocks to trade, maybe based upon one you're more familiar with, right? Maybe one that has more profit opportunity, maybe one that has more options liquidity, right? There's ways to cut down this list to the one or two that you wanna trade. So we're gonna trade one of these, we'll set these up, maybe a couple of them. But this is how we leverage pattern and momentum and we take the time, we take away all of the stress of trying to research and run our own independent analysis because now we're using a very objective pattern an objective approach and we're looking at a specific timing and you know there's a total of 26 but they all look the same so we'll go to the top one i mean you, oh there's two more so you have vertex like i said wasn't high enough right you also have mcdonald's the patterns are all the same we crossed above the 50 we had a surge of volume so let's take Chevron, for example. There's probably four or five here that are gonna check all, all of the boxes for us. But let's just start here for a second. Number one, what just happened, right? We were trending bearish, and then we just now reversed. Re remember the bull trap? Okay, I'm gonna highlight this. Because we actually had a pattern reversal back here. Remember the, the bull trap? You be, be wary of the bull trap. Okay, pattern, no momentum. Look what happens. As I told you on the other example, expect sideways to down movement until there's volume commitment, right? So that was a bull trap. Look at the drawdown, right? This is, this is why you wanna make sure that you've got everything lined up for us. You got not only pattern, but you also have momentum to hold it up, right? Think of support. Every one of these trend lines is support. We either have support underneath us or we have resistance on top of us, okay? So when we are above the trend lines, we have support of price. That means we're, the price is, is moving above the average. So the support is below. So now this is a different scenario than what we had back here at the end of December, right? Because now we have momentum behind us. So the first thing we do, if we wanna identify a trade, and I'm gonna walk you through, the setup now follow the checklist number one you set your entry one tick above the bar high 
So the high was 18132. We're going to look at 181.33. This becomes our pending entry. So there's our pending entry. Now, I always use stop losses on every single trade. I think the underutilization of stop losses is one of the biggest reasons why retail traders find it difficult to be a long-term successful trader because you end up cutting profits and you let losses run. You know, what we want to do is have profits run and cut losses. Okay. So to do that, I set everything up in advance. So the entire trade is protected. So I don't fall prey to emotional decision making. Once you have a trade live, our natural tendency is to babysit the PL. We the PL is red, then we are in a negative mindset. When it's green, then we become fearful that we're going to give away profits. So for me, I, I always want to be on the objective side, have it set up in advance. I tell myself, look, I made a decision up front. I'm going to stick with my decision. I, I already put the trade in. I'm arm's length. It's already sitting in the account. Don't mess with it. It's not easy when you start, but that is the ultimate goal. Now, what I want to do from this point, okay, now I've got to think of, of where is the best and the most likely place to take profit off, right? Now, once again, I'm going to set this up in the end goal of setting up an option trade. So I'm going to use everything we do on Chevron to then drill down and place an options trade. Okay. So I'm thinking in terms of time, right? This is not me buying and holding Chevron for months and years. You can if you like, but I'm talking more of a swing trading mindset. So to me, the simplest way to go and identify profit targets is to, to look back behind us and look to where the market has run into resistance of the past. Now, I do have another indicator here. I haven't explained yet. It's called fractals. It's a very simple indicator. What it does is it visually identifies highs and lows in the market. Now, if I turn it off, these red and green arrows go away. Okay. So you would have to be able to visually understand what is a defined high, defined low. Okay. So a defined high, for example, is when I have two highs to the left lower, I have two highs to the right lower. Okay, so it takes five minimum of five bars, right? To get a high, it takes five bars to get a low. So about three, four months ago, one of the clients in my trading room said, hey, Matt, why don't you turn on fractals for all the new people? And I said, hey, you know what? You get a gold star. So I've started to use fractals to help people see highs and lows. So it makes it easy to identify. So looking at previous resistance means i'm going back to look at previous highs okay so we have a high here in december we have another high here november we have another high here okay so this is where i would be identifying potential areas to exit right so i'm going to be buying this i either buy the stock or i'm buying a call right so i've got three layers above us all right i also want to make sure i make enough money right so i want to be cognizant of if i'm going to invest in chevron i want to let my money work for me and maximize the the opportunity okay so i don't want to you know just make two percent right i want to be able to let this thing move without sacrificing you know profit so i've got three potential areas to exit okay well the second thing i'm going to do is i'm going to identify where a protective stop loss is going to go okay so i've got various ways i teach this but i'm going to keep it simple so from a stop loss perspective, to keep things simple, I'm going to find the previous low and I'm going to go one tick below it. So in this setup, I've got the next low down at 173. Now I'll show you ways to adjust this depending upon your appetite, your comfort level, you know, if you're aggressive or more conservative, but this is a standard way to do it. I've got a stop loss. So I, at this point, this is a conservative stop loss, it means there's a lot of room for this to wiggle. Now I do have a lot of support above this, right? I've got a 20 day, I've got a 10 day, I've got the 50 day. Okay, so these trend lines are support and resistance. When I'm above it, once again, it's support. So I've got three support levels underneath me. So if the market pushes, pulls back and uses these support levels to continue moving up, I have a lot of uh, layers before I get stopped out. 
okay? But I'm, I'm gonna keep it here just to keep it simple. So with this type of risk, right, I wanna make sure it's an adequate risk to reward opportunity, okay? So I wanna make sure that if I'm gonna risk, you know, this $8 a share, that I wanna have at least $8 in, in profit opportunity, okay? So I'm gonna be cognizant here of how much movement I have. So risk here is, you know, 4%, all right, I wanna at least have a 4% profit target. So at this point, we'll go with the greater, which is this 4.5% move, okay? Now, it's gotta make sense on the option, I'll show you that in a second, but just looking at the architecture of this pattern, I'm gonna put a profit target right here. Now, once again, I'm not looking to hold this for months and, and years, okay? I'm gonna use this data to drill down to find an option chain. Now, all I simply did is walk through this checklist and it lists it out for you okay list it out for us now if you don't know how to set profit targets i have an hour and a half lesson on how to identify profit targets okay so it's not a difficult thing to to learn i already have it set up ready to be consumed and also how to set stop losses also how to set pending entries okay so it's not difficult to teach to as long as you can follow instructions so now I've got the architecture of a trading setup, okay? Well, how does this translate into a trade, okay? So I'm gonna be using Thinkorswim. I have traded with TD Ameritrade for years, okay? So that's what I use personally. I have traders that use every major brokerage firm that you can think of. You know, I've got hundreds of traders that follow me in my different trading services and trading rooms. So with traders in the US, traders in Canada, traders in Australia, I have access to lots of different experiences around different types of brokerage accounts. And, and the method I'm gonna share with you now is found amongst those top brokerage firms. Okay, so it's not a, it's not a proprietary, you know, think or swim or TD Ameritrade uh, order type, okay, it's really not. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up because now once I set it up in my account, it's waiting for tomorrow to happen. For this to go live, for us to buy shares of Chevron, we've got to, hit 181.33. If it doesn't happen tomorrow, the trade will cancel itself automatically. It'll, it'll just cancel, okay, because of how we set it up. So I'm gonna pull up our tracking account. This is an account we use for all, all of our trades. And we're gonna start first with setting up the underlying stock itself. And then from there, I'll show you how to trade the option using the same data that we're using on the charts. Okay, so let's go to, I gotta pull up CVX. Let's pull it up. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of the option chains for a second. Let's just focus here on the underlying stock. So what we're gonna do is set up an OCO order. So one cancels the other. Okay, so it's a bracket. We're gonna have an entry and then we'll have two exits. We'll have a profit target, we'll have a stop loss. All on one single ticket. One ticket. We don't have to have three different tickets. We don't have to spend you know, 20, 30 minutes doing this. When you start off doing it, it'll probably take you 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Once you get a few trades under your belt, it'll take you, you know, less than two minutes, okay? Some of you who are more uh, savvy with technology, you'll do it in less than 60 seconds, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna create a custom order, okay? Now, once again, this is Thinkorswim. Your platform is gonna look different, but this order type is available. The only, only way you won't be able to do this is if you have an IRA retirement account, you have to have three different tickets, okay? You can still trade the method I'm sharing with you, but instead of one, you have to have three, but that's you know only for those retirement accounts. Once I hit the OCO bracket, I now have three, three orders, okay? I have a green order, that's my entry. And then I have two orders in red. Those are gonna be my brackets, okay? So I'm gonna have an exit on top and exit below. Now, we're gonna set the entry. We want to, to buy Chevron if it hits 181.33 or higher, okay? So that's our minimum is 181.33. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a specific type of order to tell my broker when I wanna buy it. So with one tick above, I'm gonna change this 
price to 181.33. If you look to the high, right, it's plus one tick. Now, if you don't know what a limit is or a stop, okay, a buy stop, a buy limit, or a buy stop limit, okay, it's think of think of it like this: a limit is the highest price you're going to pay for something. So if I use the limit order, and I said I want to buy Chevron, and I set a limit of 181.33, what that tells the broker is you want to you want to buy Chevron at 181.33 or better. Okay, that's what a limit means, or better. Well, better, the definition of better is lower. Okay, now mindful, I'm not trying to buy it at a lower price. I'm trying to catch a breakout. So if I put a limit order and it opened at 180, 50, it's gonna execute the trade. I don't want that. I want it to only buy if it's above 181.33, at or above. So I can do that. So what I have to do is I have to tell my broker, I wanna do a buy stop order. What that does is that sets a floor. Okay, so the limit is the ceiling. A stop, when I'm buying something, the stop becomes the floor price. Okay, so it's a different sequence. So I have a buy stop order. Now I'm gonna change this, we'll just keep this simple. I'm gonna use 10 shares to buy it. Okay, so let's start there for a second. I'm gonna buy 10 shares only at 181.33 or higher. Okay, so it's a different thought process. But mind, mind you, I'm not trying to save a couple, couple pennies. I only wanna buy it if it breaks out. I want to catch that breakout movement. So it's got to be higher than the previous day, which is today. Okay. So instead of a buy limit, it's a buy stop. I set a floor amount. I now have my entry. Okay. So now I've got to set up my two other trades. So I'm going to set up the two additional positions. The first one is going to be the top of the bracket so that's gonna be the profit because I'm, I'm trying to buy and then sell it at a high price right that's my profit so now i take my one eight nine six eight and i pop it in here one eight nine six eight there's my profit order now i don't want this good for the day i want this to be good till closed okay so the entry order i'm setting it up today based on today's pattern and i want to catch a continuation of a breakout tomorrow so i'm only going to leave it open for tomorrow but i want if i go live tomorrow i want my exits to stay active until the price is met okay so it's a one cancel the other meaning if i hit the profit target stop loss cancels if i hit the stop loss profit target cancels okay that's the oco side of it one cancels the other so once i set this up Let's now put in the stop loss, 17371. Once I have that set, now I've got one ticket. And you can see what it says. It says, I'm going to buy 10 shares of Chevron at a buy stop of 181.33. Once again, that means it has to be greater than 181.33. Order two is my profit target. So I want to sell my 10 at the 189.68. Order three is my stop loss. I want to exit and sell the 10 I have at the stop loss of 173. So everything is now protected. Everything is now set up to be sent to my broker. So now when I come to the open working orders, you can see the ticket. It's co connected. This little lock and key here means that this, this order, this ticket, includes these three orders in total so i have the entry set up in advance and i have a stop loss and profit target in advance and you can see it says working okay so this is the active position i'm working now it's live it's waiting for tomorrow to open then i have the two tickets below it says waiting to trigger it's waiting on the trigger right so it's not even a working order yet it's not live yet because the first order they are locked in step together these two orders if we don't go live all three of these automatically cancel they literally go into a canceled order so you don't have to babysit it anymore and i actually have one from yesterday to show you what a cancel looks like so in the working or canceled orders this was a trade we set up last night so you can see down here this trade this was an option trade okay same concept you see it said cancel that four o'clock 
because this trade did not break out today. It did not hit the entry price. So it canceled automatically. This is what happens. This, this is what Chevron will look like tomorrow if it does not hit that, that floor price that we set on the entry. The, the value of this is that we set it up and we don't have to touch it again. Now, that's, this is the other signal I sent out last night. This is Marvell Tech. You see how it says filled orders, right? This filled at 9.31 in 16 seconds. Now, same idea of Bank of America, the, the one that did not meet the criteria. This option trade met the criteria. So this triggered automatically. So instead of buying the stock, I sent out an option signal. So we're gonna buy Marvell. Here's the expiration. Here's the strike, $40 strike. Here's the limit if you wanna use a limit, $3.06. But here's the key. Here's the condition. When Marvell marks at or above $40.77. So at 9.31 and 16 seconds, Marvell hit the criteria and triggered the option trade. This was sent out last night. This happened at 9.31 and 16 seconds. Remember I talked about the opening bell? That's the highest volume period. 95% of any signal I've sent out executes in the first 15 minutes. I mean, it, it's because that's where the surge occurs at the highest percentage of the time. So today's unique because you can see what a canceled trade looks like. It just falls and canceled, no, nothing happens. Whatever money you set aside for that trade goes back into your account, right? Never hit the market, never executed. And then you can see a live executed trade. It's an option, but it's still same premise. So now you can see if I come to working orders, here's the Marvell option trade. Now I've got my stop loss and profit target. Now they're waiting conditionally because the trade's live. So now I've got the bracket in place. It's protected. I don't have to touch it again. Everything is set up and protected in advance. Now I teach in class different ways to, to, to lock in profit or to trail it more closely, right? I teach that side, but out of the gate, this is all protected. You can see all of these working orders because every signal always has protections, both sides, top and bottom. So when we come back into, come back into the actual, sit the charts themselves. How do we take this and translate it, right? Well, we already have the legwork here. What we need to do now, if I wanna trade the option, is just change the type of sequencing that we do. So from the checklist perspective, I mean, let's do this. How many of you trade options? Type in, type in me, M-E, if you trade options. Yeah, so there's a lot of you. I mean, yeah, a lot of you. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't go too down, too far down this rabbit hole if there was an interest in this. Okay, good, so lots of options. So the first thing we do is we, we already know a, the structure of the trade. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the bottom half of the sequence, which is picking the option. There's a lot of data on an option chain. I've got entire lessons on just, you know, how to read through different option chains. We use them, you know, for various different ways, some aggressive, some conservative. So we're gonna talk about a conservative approach. We're talking about single leg. So we're gonna talk about buying a call. So we're gonna use the Chevron pattern. So instead of trying to take a stock, and obviously here's the leverage, to buy the stock, you know, profit potential of four, you know, four and a half percent, right? We're gonna buy the option to try to get more out of the investment. So January is too close, okay? So we're talking just monthly expirations. We have February expiration, which is 31 days. Then we also have March, okay? So for me, I always prefer to go the closest expiration month, as long as we have at least 30 days. Okay, so 30 days or more is my low end of time. The reason why is this, remember this pattern 
this 10, 20, 50 combination for, you know, 400, probably 450 different signals I've sent out in the last year, year and a half, the average hold time is about three weeks. Some are days, some of those trades go over a month. So I always want to be cognizant of how long, how much time we have to expiration. Okay. So being that it's 31 days, Theta, time decay. If this is over your head, don't worry, I'll teach it to you. But if, you know, theta is the time decay. Theta really kicks in, you know, roughly about seven days prior to expiration. So the Friday before, you know, it really starts to exponentially fall off a cliff, right? The value because of theta. You know, if we're in the money, obviously it's a different scenario, but regardless. So if you, if you see 31 days left, it's really 24. Okay, so it's really pushing it. If I want, if, if the drop dead date, you know, I want to trade to is seven days prior, right? That means instead of 31 days, the expiration is 24. So we really need to see this break out in 24 days or less. Now, 4% is not a big move. So it's not like I'm trying to capture 20% of a stock price move. Okay. So we'll be, I think we'll be fine with a 31 day. So we'll go there. Now from here, what I want to do is I want to be I teach traditional conservative option chain selection. Okay, so delta is one of our criteria that we use. Now, delta in the delta range of 65 to 75, what that does is that puts us in the money. Okay, so if you don't know what that means, in the money, out of the money, at the money, okay, I've got an entire cat library of resources that I'll provide to you. Okay, but in the simplest essence, right? I wanna be in the money when I start, okay? Because we're buying the right to buy something. So being in the 65 to 75 range, okay? That puts us either at the money strike-wise, right? 175 is the closest strike. It allows it, us to make some mistakes without really ratcheting up and being out of the money when we start, right? So if we're like at a 185 strike price, Right? It's cheaper, right? It's 375 premium, sure. But it's going to take a lot to get into the money, right? So we start off lower, but there's more risk to get in the money by the time we expire, okay? So to keep it simple, we're going to look to be in the money when we start. So 65, 75 does it. Now, we're not always going to have an exact 65 to 75. So what I like to do is at least be in the money, at least one strike in. So right now we're sitting at, 175 is a 60 delta. You can see the last price was 180.49. So if we stay above here tomorrow, we'll actually drop two in, into the money, right? We'll be one more level in the money. But regardless, that's the criteria we're going to use. Okay. The next thing we look at is liquidity, open interest. Open interest is what we use on options versus volume like a stock. Okay. So we want 100 or more. That's the baseline. As of late, there's plenty of core stocks where we're looking at thousands of open interest and that's what Chevron is. So we've got 6,000 open interest, that checks the box. I want a, a spread less than 10%, all right? This is only a 25 cent spread, cut in half is 12 and a half, all right? We're well underneath 10%, all right? 10% here would be 90 cents, okay? We're underneath that threshold. So now I've identified the expiration month and the strike price. Now I'm gonna set up the bracket. Same thing I did on the stock, but because it's the option, I'm gonna use contingent orders, okay? So I'm gonna right click on the ask, I'm gonna set up by custom OCO bracket. So same thing, same process, but we're gonna be using the underlying stock to execute this trade. Green is the open, the two reds are the close price. That's the close orders. Now I'm gonna open up this window here. It is the little gearbox. Yeah, we got Charles, you're cutting your checklist time frame short. Yeah, so the, the value of your time and money, right, on the different expirations here. If you just look at the difference of investment, right, $9.35 here. The same equivalent strike price here is $10.95, OK? 
Okay, now this example, it's only about a dollar sixty difference. Okay. A lot of the times you'll see a, a way larger discrepancy between the monthly expirations. So if you have to go an additional month out, right, what tends to happen is you're gonna pay more, right? And so the extra payment against the the delta impact, right? Because that delta is equivalent to every dollar. So every dollar that Chevron moves without the other deltas or the other Greeks, for every dollar right now that goes up on Chevron, 59 cents will be added to the premium. So if I'm starting out with a higher premium, it's gonna take more dollar movements to cover the extra investment. So it's all about comfort level, right? So the flexibility in which one you select comes down to your personal preference if you're trading you know this strategy on your own of course you can probably tell i send out signals right so it's a preference to what your comfort level is but it's everything checks the box here it's just mindful that you're going to pay more and you have to have a larger profit target because a four percent move here is eight dollars just say roughly eight dollars from the entry price to the profit target eight dollars so simple way to do it is take your eight dollars so eight times your delta and add that to the premium okay now as you go in the money you're going to make more per dollar because your delta goes up right the more you're in the money the delta goes up but starting out of the gate you can get a rough idea of what type of opportunity you have it's not going to be to the penny but it gives you a starting point to measure okay is it worth it to go out a month for extra extra comfort extra security to go out a month if it makes sense, it makes sense. But if it doesn't, you know, that's why I would take a shorter time frame over a larger one. It just means you got to cover more ground. A 4% may not be enough, right? So if that happens, then I would go to another chart. Because some of these charts, you can have a 10% move. You can have a 15% move to a profit target. But that, you know, we break that down in class. So we go through that all the time, different ways to select which one versus the other. But let's just go through this process. What I'm going to do at this stage now is set the contingent order. I still want the stock to break out before I buy the option. That's the same premise. So I'm going to come and click this little gearbox. It's right here to the right of best, if you, right next to the exchange if you have Thinkorswim. Once again, every broker is going to look differently, but the functionality is the same. Now I'm going to set this up to be a market order on the option trade. Okay. I send out a limit order. I'll teach you how to do limit orders, but I'm going to keep it simple today and just do a market order. This market order is just on the option premium. It's not on the, the stock, right? I'm buying the option. So what I'm gonna do is set a conditional order. I only wanna buy this option if Chevron marks, let me move this over so I can do it at once, marks at or above 181.33. So I'm gonna set up an option trade contingent on the underlying stock. So I'm gonna build this now a little faster just so you can get to the final ticket and you'll see it all laid out so now i'm going to set my stop loss so if i go live i'm going to i want to sell my contracts if we hit the stop loss at 173.71 i'm also going to close the option if chevron hits the profit target of 189.68 okay so when i now show you the confirmation it looks different than the stock trade right because now i've got a couple more variables same premise though so now i'm telling thinkorswim here to buy the two contracts this specific expiration this specific strike price on the condition that chevron marks at or above 181.33 okay same exact setup that we use on the stock side but now we're just trading the option same thing on the stop loss same thing on the profit target so nothing changes on the setup it's just a matter of you want to trade the option or not sometimes you'll find a great stock breakout but there won't be the options to trade so you just trade the stock because some stocks can move and are volatile on their own right it's like trading an option anyways but at a bare minimum we're leveraging the stock pattern to break out and now we're just using the leverage found in trading options right so instead of you know buying you know, $1,100 worth of 10 shares of the stock, right? We can buy, you know, equivalent of 100 shares of the option, right? For the same price. So now at this point, we do the same thing we did on the stock trade. We hit send, and now we have a working order 
around the option trade. Same thing, the option is waiting conditionally on tomorrow to open, but same overarching protection. I've got the entry waiting, I've got the stop loss profit target in the background. If we trigger the trade, it goes live, just like I showed you with Marvell that I sent out last night, triggered and went live today. Automatically, once it went live, I've got all the conditions supporting me, making sure that I have both sides of the trade protected. But after today, in just looking through this list, there's Chevron checks the box. I already showed you what that looks like, right? You can come back here to Chevron. Look at the last times we had this pattern and then look what happened after it, right? You wanna go to the last big run back here, beginning of uh, September, look at this run, started back here on this reversal point. So all we're trying to do is to find the same pattern that's repeated itself over and over again, and now we're trying to get ahead of it and catch the next one, right? That's what this is. And this is just one of six different ways to filter, actually it's eight, I added two more in the last week. So a total of eight different ways to find different types of patterns. These are the most simple to explain, aggressive bullish breakout, right? If we look, you wanna be more conservative, then we have conservative breakouts. And there's only two. Conservative, right, means there's more criteria, right? We're looking for more of more patterns to align. This has more filters than the aggressive one. So less results, but different pattern. We also have the bearish ones too, okay? So what I do is I help facilitate the strategy, the teaching of this method and coaching to it. I help facilitate it because I send out my picks, right? So I'll send out trades, full details, everything that you saw today, I send them out as a service. To me, the best service I provide is I provide a live trading room twice a week, about four hours a week, where I break down the market and I provide expectations. I teach you how to break down the market because I do it every single session and we track to the overall markets. But the key here for this method, okay, number one, is that it's applicable if I'm talking about Futures, okay, I had a question about futures. It's one method. The method doesn't change, right? If I come to futures and let's look to, I don't know, let's go to the um, ES1, right? So this is the S&P, this is E-mini futures. Same process here, except obviously E-minis, you trade it differently, right? You're, it's not the same as buying a share, right? You buy contracts, but the visual, representation and recognition of breakouts is the same process. It could be even uh, trading Forex, right? Same process. If you can have volume, if you have uh, price and liquidity, you can leverage the same overarching setup. So you don't have to learn 50 different ways to look at the market, to find direction. In fact, some of my more aggressive strategies use the same base, but we trade off the bottom. And then we trade off the highs. It's just a different method of entry than the breakout, we're selling highs. We're buying lows. So the filter settings change, right? But the method and how we trade it is the same. So it's really a transition from most traders. If you wanna learn something new, you have to learn a whole new method of trading. This is one method that we then build upon and then you have an ability to set expectations you'll know when to identify a trend ending you'll be able to identify where the next level of support is going to be going to be found and so that is an overarching empowerment that takes place and the traders that have been with me for i would say a minimum of four three months or more they use this across all of their investing all of their trading so it, they follow my signals i send and then they leverage the same strategy. They have all the checklists, they have all the lessons, all pre-built in their membership area, and they fully immerse themselves. Not initially, right? There's always that belief cycle. This method, though simple, that's the goal. It's, it's based upon the essentials of how the markets work. You'll be able to pinpoint when there's a momentum surge. I'll also teach you low volume. Low volume is also an important data point and it tells a story. How to anticipate when the market is gonna go transition, when it's gonna go right. How to trade when it breaks out of that transition, right? There's a whole world around this identical pattern set up here. Nothing changes to my pattern here, but where we see certain 
price levels makes a difference on expectation. How to know when we're running out of steam at a high? Well, if I'm running out of steam at a high, then it's probably time to lock in profit, right? That's something you wanna learn. If I'm looking to hold a trade for months and months and months, you may wanna learn different ways to trade covered calls with that stock trade that you're in, right? I go over what is most pressing in today's current condition. And so that's where, me, for me, I really enjoy this method is because it's all inclusive. It doesn't take months and months and months to figure out. And it, it is a singular base. And then we just expand around it and use it for various different methods of trading, right? So you can be aggressive with this. You can be conservative with this. You can trade counter trends. You can trade bottoms, tops all with the same identical setup shown here. There's nothing new to go through and learn how they interact. That's why I enjoy teaching this and I've done this, and we have hundreds of traders that follow this method. Many of you already know are in my classes, you just love to hear me, so you're here today, which I always enjoy having you. So if this method and this philosophy makes sense to you, right? I don't expect you to be a, you know, an A student out of the gate, but does it make sense on, seeing a reversal, how volume tied in, and then seeing what happened. Some of you are probably playing with it right now in your charts, which I love. And I challenge you, go back and look at any big reversal that you see and look to the volume. Look to look to see where's there was there volume behind that reversal. And if there is, a large percentage of the time, you're talking eight out of 10 times, you're gonna see a surge move following that. That's powerful. That's a powerful, way to recognize the upcoming breakout and by using the proper entry orders and stop losses you're able to then see if it breaks you're going to enter automatically if it doesn't hit it it's going to cancel automatically and that provides freedom to be objective and be less reliant upon how you feel that day or what side of the bed you woke up on i try to teach to a 90 percent objectivity behind every type of decision. So to let you know what details, right? This is the type of details you receive. So this is Marvell's trade that we sent out. I showed you it executed. This is the entire trade detail that was sent out. As mentioned, every trade, you need to know how long is the trade open for? What, what are we gonna trade? This is Marvell Tech from yesterday. What we're going to do, we're going to buy a call, okay? What expiration to select? What strike price to select? If you want to use a premium, that means you set a, 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 you set a ceiling on the option premium. I gave it to you, so you can use that if you want. You can use a market order or you can use the limit I give you. It's up to you. You'll know what to put as the stock entry, what to use as a stop loss, and what to use as a profit target. Okay? Everything's laid out for you. What is unique is it's all done up front. Once again, it's all delivered up front to you. We also send the same information via text message. You have the same information in the membership site. Everything is laid out. So as you're going through and mastering this process, I'm gonna send you trades that meet the criteria. So then you can go to the trade, you can pull up the chart, you can follow along or just watch it. You'll start to really grasp the overarching concept, right? And, and to me, that's the that's the best of the best because you'll be, be empowered. I don't really like people just to take the trades and that that's it. it it's, it's really not a encompassing fully type of uh, use of time because you don't know why we do certain things. And then next thing you know, you're just beholden to whatever, you know, you get in your email and your text message. You know, for me, I want those that have an interest to, to improve or change their methods, right? To make it easier, to make it streamlined, uh, to try to avoid some of the common pitfalls of emotionally trading, learn to be objective, and also more importantly, take your time back. I taught the method today. The same process I showed you today of finding Chevron is the same process I go through at the end of the day at every market time. I just go through, I run this, the filters, I look at the patterns, okay. I'll then look at the options, does it make sense? Do they check the boxes? Yes, okay, there's the trade, I'll send it out, set it up, execute, put everything in the account and I'm done, 15 minutes or less. 
the habit that's born there is that you now emotionally remove yourself one level away. You can't remove all emotions. I mean, that would be boring, right? Who wants to do that? So there's some level of excitement. There's always butterflies in the tummy, right? I mean, that's what makes it, you know, enjoyable with a level of, you know, excitement and a little bit of fear. It happens anytime we have money on the line. But the large majority of the decision making is done when the market's closed. There's no noise, right? There's not up and down, red and green uh, prices happening. We set it up in advance and we wait. It's sitting there. We don't have to, we can go about our day. You don't have to pull up your charts for weeks. As long as you set it up with an exit on both sides, like I showed today, everything's protected. You either hit the profit target or you get stopped out. One cancels the other. That is a totally different mindset. It's it's a freedom from that emotional, anxious mindset. Right. And that to me is what is most important to really be able to weather the storm. If I after my sessions, I'll you'll have a full expectation of what the next two and a half days is going to be in store for you. I'll say, look, this is what we're going to expect with the spy. Okay. We're at a point of transition. If we break out bullish, this is what it's going to look like. Okay. If it does this, we're going to do that. Right. And so every time you join me in my sessions, you have a a GPS guide of expectation. So when I say, hey, we're going to expect red days over the next week. When it happens, you're not caught off guard. You're not fearful. You're not in the level of anxiety because most times those red days are going to set up the green days. But the market does not go up every single day, does not go down every single day. So the expectation side that is born from this method, and it's a simple method that just grows upon itself over and over again, to me is what's really been a transition for many of my active traders. And I've got hundreds of traders that, that follow this method because of those reasons is what I hear most about is that freedom and a perspective shift to not have to be in front of your charts all day long, staring at them, not living in a, in a, a world of emotional decision-making because that's what happens when you're managing through P&L, right? And it's just not a sustaining place to be. So I have a lot of people asking about the program, so I'm gonna walk you through it. I'll stick around after if you got more questions, I'd love to go through them with you. Went through. A Went through full detail, full transparency of the main way we use the, the profit squeeze, aka the rapid profit method. The, every one of these strategies is born from, once again, that same base method. And so to me, this program is a potential life and trading changing opportunity for you. And if you recall, from when I started the event today, I told you, I took my learnings as a chief revenue officer, sold, created hundreds, over $150 million worth of products around the financial market. I was in charge of over 100 different team members from multiple different pieces of the business, different aspects of the business. I understand how to hire teams, I understand how to create marketing budgets, how to, how to spend and, and increase a marketing uh, spend budget every single month. So once again, I told you all that I wanted to do things differently. So today you're gonna to see the outcome of that prior experience, the ability for me to partner up and find some amazing people to work alongside of me to offer you some of the most powerful, simple to follow, easy to understand strategies. But at the same time, you're not gonna be paying tens of thousands of dollars for it. And I'll explain why more in a moment. So once again, while you're going through this method with me, you're gonna receive my picks, okay? And I send them out via text message, send them out via email, and then we also have a, a trade tracking site so you can monitor the results. You can follow along, you can learn. I appreciate and I really like if you do both of them, right? You follow along while you're learning, right? So you have a potential to earn and then learn while you're coming through this. I'll be your guide, of course, right? But I re really prefer you do both, right? You don't need to spend hours and hours in doing this. Four hours a week, you can be with me. If you can't be live with me, that's okay. Watch the archive. Send you signals three times a week. All I ask is that if you're gonna follow them, you place them before the next day open. Once you get up to speed, it'll take you less than five minutes. Starting off, it'll probably take you 15 minutes, okay? So you're talking a very limited amount of time to get up and running. Now. I don't expect anyone of you to be a 100% believer in this process. All I ask is that 
if this is a value to you, if you see an opportunity, if you see something different that makes sense to you, if you like the pace of my teaching, if you like the method in the way I, I, I teach this, then that's enough. I say sign up. If you don't like it, I'll give you 100% of your money back. No questions asked. We do not have a sales team that picks up the phone and calls you every day. We don't have that. That's a way we offset cost. We don't have a marketing budget where we go out and buy leads and do all this stuff. We leverage partnerships like Investor Expo to do it, okay? That also decreases the overall cost. So the price of what you're gonna see today, you've never seen what we offer at the price than what you're gonna see in a few minutes. That's all because we have a focus of working with as many people as possible. We can't do it for free, I'd love to, but it doesn't make sense. So I can't do that, but what I can do is leverage our, our referrals. That's when you're successful, you tell your friends or family. We leverage partnerships like Investor Expo to get us in front of people like you, right? And so that all brings down the overall cost. So that way our overhead is lower. We then pass the savings to you. So worst case scenario, for some reason, you don't like the method, it doesn't make sense, maybe it doesn't click with your trading style, that's fine. Give us an opportunity. If it's not for you, we give you 100% of your money back. There's no questions asked. We, once again, we don't have a team that's gonna call you, badger you, and try to convince you to stay. I learned in my experience as a chief revenue officer, it's always best to part as friends. Always best to part as friends. And so that's my mentality in this business as well. So once again, we're talking about delivering opportunities so you can follow along with us, right? Just think about learning to catch fish, right? While you learn how to fish. Same very simple process. So this program, is email alerts, SMS alerts, access to the Cloud Trade Tracker. To sign up, it's simple, straightforward. You'll go to rapidprofitsmethod.com. So you can write that down. Let me explain what else comes with this program. You're also gonna receive, with the trading program, you're gonna receive one year access to my live training sessions. This is called the Market Pro Live Club. It's twice a week live. Every single week, we, we sold this individually for well over $1,900 in its own right. I'm gonna include this to help kickstart your new year, okay? So I'm gonna give you 12 months of access to these weekly live training sessions. The second bonus, I'm gonna give you access to my empowerment toolbox. This is where I provide you access to all the different tools, different videos, checklists, watch lists that I've built in the last decade plus to ensure that you have the tools to follow along with this. Once again, we've sold components of the toolbox. One of the favorite components is a 10 and a half hour pre-recorded course on the strategy you saw today. That's also in this toolbox. Third bonus, if you're new to options or if you trade options and you wanna expand your portfolio of tools, take advantage of this bonus on the Options Master Academy. From beginner, intermediate, advanced, we break down all the pieces of options trading so you can add the very, I mean, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of different strategies around options. The fourth bonus is money management. This to me is one of the, the most important lessons is how you manage the money. So of course, to make this all encompassing, we've got to talk about money management. So I'm going to include a bonus there. So each one of these is inclusive with the rapid profit method. Quick start options, very simple, help you walk through options trading, all the various different strategies, 40 plus strategies that you have access to. Uh, why to select one expiration versus the other, I talked briefly about it earlier, obviously way more detail here, okay? The second big bonus is the autopilot, right? I wanna make sure that you know how to set up the specific orders. It's a, it's a totally different experience when you're setting in advance of the market. It's a powerful mindset to be in, the catch method versus the chase method. So I'm gonna make sure you know how to set up the various autopilot type trades, various ways we do it from a stock side, how to use multiple profit targets. There's uh, various amounts of ways to do your different order types. Third bonus, once again, this is access to our checklist, okay? I want you to be able to repeat the process in a, in a simple way. And that's what these checklists give us. These are the four top ones we use. There's four more on top of that for my more aggressive types of traders. But everything's in a simple format. You can follow along with, you can print them off, you can take notes on it, whichever way best suits your learning style. 
especially starting off, these are huge resources for you. Now, money management, obviously we talked about that, extremely important, I wanna make sure that you have different tools, different calculators, different ways to, to set your minimum goals, how to scale, when to scale, right? These are all very important lessons, so I'm gonna make sure you have access there. Now, this to me is, is my favorite piece of this bonus is the Market Pro Life Club. So that's with me. Now, yesterday was MLK, right? Martin Luther King's birthday. So market was closed. So last night was actually moved to tonight. So if you really love this, sign up today. You have 30 days to go through it. I'll explain how to sign up in a moment. If you sign up today, you'll be able to join me at seven o'clock for a full market breakdown in an hour, right? So seven o'clock Eastern Mondays, typically this week because of the holiday, I moved it to today. So it's seven o'clock. So right after this, you have an hour break. You can sign up and jump right into tonight's class. And that will really set the pace and tone. I have a side guarantee with you. If you sign up and you watch two live events in the next 30 days, just two, I guarantee you'll be hooked and it will click. It'll make sense. And it will really help put everything I talked about today together. So that's my guarantee is I guarantee you show up to two live, Market Pro Life sessions, you'll love this and it will really click and make huge, uh, make a huge impact on your trading, right? But that to me is where twice a week, four hours in total, you're talking well over 200 plus hours of, of live analysis and content and teaching. So it's my most favorite. For those who like to read and get into um, a higher level thinking, we're gonna include the special bonus. I'm gonna give you the 39 investing secrets of the Titan value investors of our day. This is leverage around people like Carl Icahn, Warren Buffett, Bill Ackman, and many others of the top investors. This is an amazing uh, book that you'll get, the Titan value investors 100X rule. This breaks down how to find the next Tesla, 100X rule. This is a huge profit calculator. This is for investors. This is you know for those that have a portion of their portfolio for longer term investments. This profit calculator is, is amazing. You're gonna have access to that as well. So with everything included, you're gonna have the signals, you're gonna have the bonuses for the next 12 months. This is a one year program. Bonuses plus signals for the next year. We've sold components of this individually that add up to over $8,600. Once again, I told you, we have strategically made decisions on the marketing side, the sales side, support side to lower the overhead. This program with all the bonuses is $399 for the year one-time payment there's no secondary fees there's no hidden fees it's 399 dollars for the entire year that's it once again if you're not satisfied you have a 30-day window to let us know all you have to do is send an email to our support line or send a text message or call to our support that's all you have to do no questions asked we'll refund you 100 percent of your payment if this isn't good enough i like to reward those that take action so for the next 10 of you that sign up, I want you to go to this page, rapid profits with a plural, rapidprofitsmethod.com. And the first 10 that use the coupon code, M-A-T-T 100, that's Matt 100. If you type that in the coupon code, we'll knock off an additional $100 off the entire year. So if $3.99 a year, made perfect sense now for those that go to the page now and sign up you'll have full detail invoice the receipt you'll know exactly what you're signing up for you can save a hundred dollars off and get it for simply 299 dollars that is the entire year of signals entire year of market pro live club access to all of the reports access to all of the tools in the toolbox every component that i shared with you today for for less than 300 dollars for the year this coupon code is for the next 10 of you that sign up. So I have people facilitating and helping moderate the room. They're going to drop the, the URL directly into the chat window for you. So you don't have to type the URL. It is a redirect. Okay. So what that means is if, when you type this in, it's going to take you to a different site. This is used because it's not a super long URL chain. That'll take you a minute to fill out. Just type this in. It'll take you to our page. This is what it looks like when you type it in. So I'll pull it up so you, can, so you know you're in the right spot. When you type in 
rapid profits, plural, right? We want more than one profit, so it's plural. Method.com, it'll take you to this page. You'll see Concordia Financial, Financial Exchange, that's us. You'll see that this is open for three days, okay? So this is open for three days. It will close on January 20th. Now, the reason this is, is because I, I like to manage the room, the Market Pro Life Club, and I like to, to work the room and to teach in the room, to coach in the room in segments, meaning I like to know that I've got a certain amount of people that are new so I can speak to you and start the journey and have you all start within the same type of window. I don't like random people starting at random times. It just makes it hard to keep the room moving forward. So I like to have open enrollment periods. That's what we're in now. This open enrollment period will end on the 20th. So you have some time. Now, the advantage of waiting is maybe you wanna watch the recording. You know, Maybe you have a, question, a few questions you're gonna ask to our support line, that's fine. The advantage of, of starting today is that you can save $100 and you're gonna be able to join me in an hour in the Market Pro Life Club. At the end of the night tonight, if you give me another couple hours, you'll know if this is for you. You've saved the most money, You've had an opportunity to see us in a live teaching and training environment. And tonight, the goal of the Market Pro Life Club is to identify where we need to be trading, right? Where do we expect the market to be? Then we drill down and find, okay, where are the different sectors and industries that we need to focus on? And then if trades present themselves, we'll set up trades in the room. People bring their ideas, their questions. We answer them live. It's an awesome community of traders that, that have the same mindset that you have. We have a lot of fun, but we keep it focused on the financial markets. But it's an amazing environment. I really love that aspect. So you have a unique opportunity. You don't have to wait days. You'll be able to sign up now, save $100, get the best price, lock in the price. Okay, so, so whatever price you sign up for today, you know, 12 months from now, if you want to keep, continue with us, you're going to, you can rebuild the same price. So you can always lock that in. This price was lower a few months ago. So price has gone up in the last few months. I expect it probably do the same in the next couple months as well. So take this opportunity, save the most, and at the same time, start right away with us because it's just perfect timing with our class tonight instead of yesterday. So you can read more about the program at simply click add to cart. You come to add to cart. I'm going to show you where the coupon code is. So once you're on the checkout page, it's secure. You can see in the top left, I got the lock icon you'll see the details you'll see the special bonuses down here in the coupon code this is where you want to put in mat 100 once you're here you you have to hit apply coupon code so once you hit apply you'll then see the price change from 399 to 299 okay so there's your hundred dollar savings so so make sure you you hit the apply button if you don't hit the apply button it'll come out to the full price of 399. So just make sure you apply. If you made a mistake, mistakes happen. And you signed up and you didn't hit the coupon code, let us know now. I've got um, Alan helping moderate in the room. I also have, let's see, I've got Kim also helping out. So any questions you have, Anna's still here, so that's perfect. So if you have any questions, type them in. I'll be able to hang out here if you have any additional questions, but I will have to be leaving momentarily because I have to get ready and prepared for the seven o'clock in an hour from now. Yeah, Forex, it works. Everything's the same on Forex. Obviously it's different on how you trade it because you're dealing in pips, but the method is still the same process. You see volume in the Forex, you see trend line shift in the Forex market. I don't like to scalp the Forex, I trade more swing trading. So I would be trading on 60 minutes or higher if you're using this on Forex, you know. But I, I mean, I traded Forex for a decade, over a decade. Any, any type of chart that has price, open, high, low, and close, you have an ability to have candlesticks, you have a ability to to monitor the volume, you can use this strategy. Crypto, same thing. Works on crypto too. Yeah, bonds, same thing. Yep. Obviously, the order types are different, right? You know, so 
Forex crypto is different because you're dealing in fractions of pennies, right? For most of the cryptos out there. So that's different. If I'm trading futures, then, you know, you're dealing in contracts, different types of contracts. You're trading E-minis. But the ability to identify the breakout, right? Being able to understand where the trend is, where's the reversal point, that's all the same. That's all the same process. So I've got a question on the conditional orders. So I have videos already there on the membership site teaching um, how to use the different conditional orders. And then if there's any questions, I run my live sessions four hours a week. So there's Monday nights, Thursdays, every recording. I have a huge library of previous recordings. I would say 90% of every session has live trading set up. So there's shows how, how to set up trades, different conditional orders that are used. But the simplest way is to go to the membership site, log in, and then watch the, I think there's two or three five-minute videos on different conditional orders, right? So that's the easiest way. But if you have any questions, bring them to my sessions and I'll break them down for you live. You know, that's, I, I have an agenda that we follow in the Market Pro Life Club, but it's, once we get through the first half hour, it's really an open session. So, you know, people bring stocks that they're in, trades that they're in, and we break them down live. We talk about different strategies based on the market condition. You know, two months ago, we were trading uh, a different method than, you know, different different strategies than we were are today, right? Because conditions change. But we don't change the indicators. We don't change the overarching method. We just use it differently based on the market conditions. But that's the advantage of having twice a week sessions and they're staged appropriately. So we have Monday nights at seven, Thursdays at noon. So there's two and a half trading days between each session. So we bookmark the, the week. So Monday nights at seven, we set the tone for all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday, half day Thursday. Then after a Thursday class, we follow up what we talked about Monday and we show the continuation. So you know what to expect Thursday afternoon, Friday all day, Monday all day. And that cycle repeats itself over and over again. And so the reason I'm so conf confident to say come to two, because you'll see me analyze and forecast the market. And then two and a half days later, you'll see what I said comes to fruition. And then you go, man, that's awesome. And then you come one more time. Now you'll see a full week and how we called all the ups and downs, all the pivot points, all the different resistance levels. And what happens is now you start to understand expectations. You'll know, okay, we're, we're gonna have some green days ahead. Or, hey, we're going to have some red days. Okay, well, at least now you know. You're not caught off guard. And so if we have a reversal or an extension, you'll see us start to say, okay, now it's time to be buying. Okay, now it's time. Uh, we're going to switch. Now we got to go to shorts. we got to be buying puts because now we're in a down extension. Okay, so all of that is uncovered. So you have a game plan every session. And to me, in 30 days, 45 days, depending upon your learning curve, you'll really start to see how all of these interact together. And then now you'll be able to pull up any chart on the fly and you'll be able to say, okay, this is coming to a point of reversal or, hey, this is gonna run into resistance. I'm gonna wait to buy this until it pulls back. The pullback's gonna happen. I show you, okay, this is the pullback. Now we have the pullback over. Now it's time to jump in and buy. So the stage of the market's always moving, right? And so understanding the components of reversals is the first step. Then after identifying reversals, it's, okay, how long is this movement, this move going to go, right? How long is this going to go up? Okay, to go up, it's got to get through this and this and this price level. Well, if it doesn't get above here, this is where you're going to watch it come down to. If it comes below this level, now this is a potential reversal. That's the type of expectations you're going to walk away with. My goal is to always, always provide a roadmap so you're not caught off guard. That's the one thing I, I hate is not knowing what to expect, right? And so that's how I explain the market. That's how I build the architectures around expectation. <laughs> yeah, I love it, Rob. Appreciate it. Yeah, so Robert's been a client of ours for, geez, it's got to be over six months, right? So he says, uh, you can also let them know we actually spent a little more time together on the sessions because of your dedication. Yeah, so the session started out about an hour and a half. Now they go over two hours. But I've been with you for two hours, so I definitely have to start resting my voice here for the next uh, 
50 minutes until I start again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out, but I want to stay. I'll, I'll keep this open for a few more minutes. I have Alan. I have Kim uh, moderating the room. So if you do have questions or, hey, if you're on the checkout page and, I don't know, maybe the coupon code's not not uh, dropping in properly, you know, make sure you uh, you ask in here. Okay, so this will be open so you can see it. Um, you, some of you are already getting responses already, so that's great. Now. If you're on the bonuses page, okay, there's two bonuses. There's the options profit generator, okay? What that is is a it's a low cost, low price premium option program. And it's a daily signal service. So if you want more signals, add on the options profit generator. This is an exclusive opportunity to, to add it for $39 a month. It's month to month. You can cancel any time, but it's also falls under the 30 day guarantee umbrella. Okay, so if you want more, add on the options profit generator. 39 bucks is a steal, especially you know being able to pay it month to month, right? The second bonus is even more books and reports for you. That's for those that are really love to have something in hand. You read it, you take notes on it, and it's a deep dive into how the big hedge fund traders, the world famous hedge fund traders, how they walk through their buying and trading decisions. I mean, that's the easiest way to explain it, but I can't give justice to the level of depth that the team has put together around those key icons. So definitely recommend you add everything on there because they all fall into the guarantee. If you're not happy about it, you'll get your money back. But you know, based on my interactions and feedback from, from traders, they love all the different support that we have. And of course they love the price point because they've been in the market. They see the same similar type of programs for thousands and thousands of dollars. Once again, as I promised, we made decisions internally to give the appropriate pricing to allow as many people that have a desire to join the program without a large upfront fee. Think about $299, that is less than the average price of an investment that you make. And that covers an entire year of this. Our average traders, average trade size is about $1,500 a trade. So one trade at that level will pay for this and more, right? So it doesn't. So we try to really lower the anxiety, we lower the overhead, and once again, the only way we can do this is because of the referrals. When you're happy, you tell people, and once again, partners like we have with Investor Expo. So we want to keep this going for the next round of people. Let's make sure you dig in. Once you find confidence, then tell someone else about it. That'll help us keep these prices low for everyone else. So. But with that, I do have to run. I have to get prepared. I got to have a bite to eat here at 6.15 on the East Coast. I'm starting here in 45 minutes. So it's been a pleasure. Looking forward to having you for your sign up tonight. Expect your registration in the next 15 minutes. You'll be automatically registered for tonight's seven o'clock. So with that, appreciate you. Wish you nothing but the best. Happy trading. And I'll see you at seven o'clock tonight.